the last video I made was after Eddie Hall's World Freak Fight League fight. Yeah. And they just blew up all over YouTube, all over social media. And we made that video in the hotel room in the UK. Not expecting it to do what it did, but apparently everybody yeah, they, really liked yeah. it. Yeah. It's like we got a lot of views. <laughs> a lot of views. Surprising, for yeah. Probably the easiest video yeah. we've ever made. Yeah. Which is good. Maybe people just like the, yeah. the basic Maybe content. We should well. travel more. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No. Everyone may have known that subscribed to the channel that we were at UK's Strongest Man 2024. Yeah. Now, the big thing about the UK Strongest Man 2024 was that it was the first ever live TV shown strongman event or competition ever, mm -hmm. which is absolutely incredible when you think about it. V got a little bit stressed because oh, of live TV. Yeah, no pressure. And everyone was telling me, mm. like, it's you know, it's live. It's going to yeah. be live. It's like, I know. Yeah. I know. You don't need the to tell me the that. The countdowns. Yeah. yeah, everything. Just, it's going to be live. You know, like, yeah. 400,000 people will be watching you. It's, it's okay. Like... Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a lot of people watching. <laughs> Anyways, oh, funny. look, you weren't too bad. You're in great company, so you're with Jamie yeah, Reeves. Jamie was awesome. So you were there with Jamie last yeah. year, and we had Radzi this he year. He was even more awesome. He is so <laughs> professional. Now yeah. I know everybody sees Radzi from like Giant Slave and things like that. Yeah. Now I didn't know, and you obviously didn't know as well that he was on say television, UK television, uh, yeah. on Blue Peter before. Now we don't get it in Ireland, so we didn't really know, yeah. but. Like, he is so professional. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Like, I never stressed once. No. I don't know how he, how he did it. It seems like he... Well, I, I guess when you do things week in, week out, you don't Your bread stress. Water, it becomes yeah. normal. Um, but uh, with me, it, it, uh, no, it's not. It's not normal. I do it, like, <laughs> once, once a year. No point in being around it. Like, I know last year we were there as well. Now, yeah. even the athletes would say themselves, last year compared to this year... It's night and day. Yeah, it's, like, it was a different format altogether. So, yeah. I, I, look, me personally, I think if that's the format to keep going on, mm -hmm. like if, if it keeps going live every year, they'll, they'll be like one of the best. Yeah, shows. I think it's just these three hours is like just perfect to yeah. retain the attention of people. I think when it goes beyond that, you're like kind of... As far as I, I know... I think everyone struggles. Yeah, as far as I know from the stats, I think it was 300,000 people averaged watching it mm -hmm. for the whole duration of the three hours. And that came out to 6%. Of all people in the UK that was mm -hmm. watching live TV, which is... That's not bad, I guess. So beyond the broadcasting side of it, we actually had the UK Strongest Man 2024. I think everybody knows by now that Paul Smith ended up winning for third time in a row. Third time in a row, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, like, uh, I think it's a big achievement for him, like, you know, and it seems like that's his uh, competition to lose. And... Uh, so, like, it's, yeah, it's so it, easy for him in the in the in the in the on the first day he wasn't that great i thought like he's maybe just missing a step a little bit you were the welsh guy matt diamond yeah i had him like yeah but just for a change yeah, you know yeah. like last it, year it, I had it was looking that way yeah, yeah it's like uh, but uh, matt diamond really dropped off in the final like really um he, he got a couple of injuries i guess his wrist were well, like he gave us a lift to uh an airport yeah his brother i think his brother yeah, gave yeah, us but he was there so there. yeah so his yeah like his wrist was pretty swollen so i think from the tire flip when he was warming up so i don't know is it broken he says it might be broken or fractured or I, we don't know but uh, probably that affected his performance a little bit uh but other than that he really like struggled with the final events but uh, the other guys, uh, Sean Dibber. Did very well. Did very well. So Sean, people that don't know, Irish Strongman. Yeah. Put on 15 kilos yeah. since last UK Strongest Man. Yeah, he looked and phenomenal. Worked. Yeah, it worked. He finished fourth in Ireland Strongest Man, though, mm -hmm. uh, four weeks ago. But uh, it seems like I think it was uh, a new thing for him. All that body weight, he needed to get used to it. And now I think his, his body is kind of like fully, I don't know, adapted to it. And he performed really well, and he nearly finished third place. Only uh, there was no time. Yeah, Flynn, Andrew yeah. Flynn. Uh, I think I said it in the, on the live broadcast when they were doing the car hold. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of the way they. I don't know. They were the way they were. Uh, yeah, I don't know how don't to know describe how to, it. The way they were um, talking to each other, as well. talking to each other. Andrew was, I think, singing. Yeah, they weren't like, focused. Yeah, they were like, I didn't like it. I, I, I don't know, like, and. Uh, was it like a bit of a like i don't know cockiness there or confidence or and he ended up actually dropping first and he had i think like three or four point lead in the third place and then sean 
who took the event a bit more serious and he caught up with him there was only a point in the difference there was only a point in the difference coming into the last event which kind of like uh, i was it was a bit of a redemption for me because i uh, i said it like it's not a great uh, thing to do when no, you like yeah lock just in. yeah just lock in like afterwards you can do whatever do yeah. whatever hell you want you know but uh, during i think you shouldn't be singing and <laughs> you know and doing that kind of stuff but anyway that, that's just me when you're mentioning the car hold and like obviously sean and andrew kind of chatting to each other going into that event like paul smith and lewis jack were like neck and neck yeah for like i think everybody in the stadium kind of we're well, not staying in the arena i suppose we're holding the rest mm -hmm. because whoever had came out on top in this event kind of wins the whole thing kind of wins the whole thing or gives that extra lead yes going into get, the gets the extra lead like you said and uh from the get-go paul smith wasn't really comfortable with you, his positioning you said it, yeah. yeah he sort of like then he found it seems like he was a bit like wiggling and yeah and then he found that yeah. core stability and he just digged in and uh louis jack was from the from the start he was really focused and i think he knew that if he loses this one it's kind of like that's it it's I game over i think what happens with louis i think louis looked over at paul like towards the end of the lift and seeing Paul shifting yeah. and probably thought, oh, he's not yeah, going to hold I, on. I, I have it. I have it. And then I th whatever, Lewis, maybe whatever went on in his head, he just dropped it. Mm -hmm. Paul held on, won the event, obviously. Yeah. But like going into that last, second last event, like I, I had Lewis tip to win it. Yeah. Like I thought he would do very well. Yeah. Unfortunately, he finished second overall. He bet Paul in the stones. So like if he had a won the car hold, he would have won the stones. Yeah, it could have been a lot closer than yeah. than than it was. So for people that are watching, they know that UK strongest man is over two days. It used to be three days, and then for TV, they made yeah. it two days. Again, I think it was the right decision. It was perfect. But for day one, you obviously have the two groups of six. You have three men in the eliminator. Then obviously the top guy out of the eliminator goes through to day yeah. two, and then you're left with eight athletes. Now some of the events finalists, yeah, yeah. So some of the events that they had like the bar bend which i hadn't seen since the 80s yeah like and it it wasn't that bad no you know like it it, it was uh only like few guys didn't finish it which was nice a couple of guys finished it so it was kind of like balanced uh, uh, event in a way you know so um nobody really got injured which no. i think everyone's was uh I main did, concern did anyone get injured i don't think that anyone got in this specific event no because they said you can't use your neck and you can't use your head yes. you can't use the ground to bend ground it. to bend it yeah and you just around your necks and then you can stick the the bar towards your chest yeah, and lewis just, jack nearly impaled himself yeah uh, paul smith as well yeah i think i was more afraid of paul smith <laughs> because a couple of times he's going it's clean, <laughs> yeah into his throat and i was like whoa Oh, that's not good. Live TV. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bad TV now. Uh, other than that, I think it wasn't that bad of an event, you know, and especially knowing that it, they, not everyone was able to finish it. And I don't know. I, I don't mind it. Some of the other events from day one, then as well, you had the silver dollar deadlift or the brick deadlift. Mm -hmm. 325 kilos, no suit. Yeah. And there, there was a bit of confusion with that as well. Yeah. Because everybody thought they can get like some some of the guys said well we're gonna get like double digits or something like that but I don't think that they realized how heavy it was or it's not like it's heavy like 320 is not very heavy when it comes to like strongman I think it was the technique technique and the setup and the bar bending and uh, the these blocks kind of these metal blocks on the sides they were moving drag yeah. it in the the whole combination like sort of and even Terry Holland walked up to me is like like that that's not good like a couple of guys failed it it's like most of the pretty much says in every gym you can find someone who can deadlift like 300 over 300 in in uk probably and probably it's true in a big gym you'll find someone who can deadlift that way and it says it's not a great uh, look for yeah. the strong man and i was like it's just a setup like yeah. that's so it. someone is going to be looking at the tv saying yeah. oh i can do that i, I can do that yeah. which is not bad either no it's not bad <laughs> yeah it might look just go and qualify yeah. the end of it. Uh, and then we had what carol we had the carol so the carol again it's probably a staple i suppose with ultimate strongman mm. very quick times like yeah we had one sub 20 seconds that was chris yeah. beatham chris he beatham he yeah. did that they He's got very that, efficient yeah other than that you had usually between 20 and 30 seconds mm -hmm. Uh, Paddy Haynes kind of had a bit of a mishap on it. Yeah. Went to roll the car and then ran before the car. Yeah, even rolled. He, he was, I think, the dark horse coming into this uh, competition. Like, again, like he's competing in Giant Slave in a week and a half. Yeah. Like everybody had him tipped to do very well. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, he went out on day one in the Eliminator. Like the Eliminator as well, for people who don't know, like 
some people don't like it i like the idea of it it's kind of it's good for tv because i think it's it's very good for again i think they did it better this year because last year they did had, like had uh, on a time yeah on a time and, and this, this time year is like on a distance if you whatever points you have you can get you get these meters ahead of you so i think it was a way better idea and uh i, I didn't mind it as well and uh, um Stephen, for example, uh, Jackson. Stephen Jackson. Yeah, he so, so well. he was so good, and he actually eliminated guys. You know, who like uh, Rory, for example, Rory he had a, 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 a decent a head start, three meters, three meters meter head start. Yeah, and he just got one. He was first able time to get, catch up well, with him, Stephen Jackson. Yeah, so yeah. very well for him. So after the eliminator on day one, we had the only bit of the show that wasn't live, which was the truck pull. Yeah. So the truck pull was outside in the Vindico Arena. Now, the reason they did that is because the trucks physically couldn't fit in the arena yeah. other people there's been people saying otherwise that like reasons for the truck pull being like obviously not live but it's mainly because they just physically couldn't fit in the arena so they had it outside and to be honest they couldn't have got better weather yeah the, the weather, weather was perfect was perfect the amount of people that showed up mm-hmm. even martin said it himself on the on the mc that like he wasn't expecting so many people to show up the truck pull two trucks say simultaneously i think it was three meters in or was it two meters in the, the basically the cop slack yeah, second one kicks in yeah, yeah. yeah. and again fast comp, fast say yeah. pull no rope some of the guys did very well others kind of the technique wasn't as good yeah, as it could have been yeah and uh, the times were very close as well and uh, Paul's, like yeah and Paul Smith again it's like it seems like everything was going his way in that competition because uh, there is there's other guys who are like way heavier than him he was one of the lightest actually in the 130 final. he's 130 watch. yeah the other guys are like around 145, 150, 160. He would have been the second yeah, lightest uh, in the event. Yeah, Sean Dibber. Sean was Dibber's 120, the lightest. Yeah, he was the lightest, yeah. So it kind of... And Sean Dibber didn't do that great in that event, I think. No. Killian, Killian is 135, I think, where I weighed yeah. him as well. So Killian Groom, he's, he's, he had a bad final. Like, yeah, really bad final. Killian, the Irish guy, like... Yeah. Killian looked very well in the first first day. Yeah, he second day, decent, just yeah. whatever happened. Like Yeah, it, he says he overextended his hip in a tire flip. Yeah and uh we're gonna get to that i think to the to yeah. the tire so the first event then that was actually live on day two or the final was the tire flip now people are saying about the tire flip maybe was the the weight actually what it was supposed to be i can assure you the tire is a heavy tire just heavy dense tire, 435 yeah. kilo tire yeah very wide like crazy wide mm-hmm. now it had good grip on it in fairness it was a new tire yeah they allowed to use a little bit of a tacky as well which was like very good and the, the floors weren't perfect for that event no it was so it, 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 it was the floors were kind sliding of slipping, yeah. yeah so it wasn't uh, uh a great but uh we we had one injury yeah steven jackson yeah he uh, that was as well like uh <laughs> we, we, ra- we ran into steven yeah afterwards in the hotel and steven said that he was talking to the nurse and she said, like, oh, you have a partial tear. Yeah. And I looked at his arm. I was like, oh, maybe. And then he, he lifted, lifted his sleeve. And yeah. I was like, oh, there's the bicep. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Because, yeah. you know, like, when someone just has their sleeve on, you're like, oh, yeah, their arm. And you you actually felt it. And you're like, oh, that feels a bit weird. And then when he lifted his sleeve, he was, I was like, like, I think it's a rupture. Yeah, <laughs> I think complete. Yeah, you're I like, think your biceps is gone. But I don't know. He needs to get MRI. And if I was him, I would. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> you know because th- that didn't look <laughs> like a partial tear to me but i'm not a doctor yeah so. not a doctor but like yeah. it's just when when he lifted his sleeve and you could see the bicep yeah i tore both of my biceps yeah. so i kind of know yeah you have a rough idea yeah what's going on if it's gone it's like kind of like it's gone you know so and it's better to go and get it reattached than uh, think yeah. that it's a partial tear <laughs> so okay you know with the tire flip anyway lewis jack did like incredibly yeah. well like got four flips on it he was the only person I think who was close enough to finish it yeah. because five fl- flips would be a finish and uh, finish 75 number. seconds to get five yeah. flips on that yeah. tire it's still a tight time frame but I think Lewis like <coughs> he said himself that he was going to win the event yeah he was going to do well in it but I didn't think we'd expect it as easy for him to do no it. I I'm I'm was uh very surprised with uh Paul Smith yeah because in the warm-up he really struggled he really struggled but that's a sign of the champion where uh some guys actually like looked better in a warm-up that they did in the competition uh like for example andrew uh flynn andrew flynn yeah yeah he looked very good in a warm-up i was like oh, okay that's that's this great it, yeah. yeah so he'll do really well and then when it comes to like uh in the moment he did on i think only two flips i believe so that i thought he's gonna be one of the them cool finish it like you know yeah so did he wasted too much energy by warming up and 
just keep trying to reassure himself that he can flip that tire i don't know like the same with the matt diamond he did the same he yeah. did like one flip in a warm-up and then he didn't even bother trying in the yeah he tried a good few times to try flip yeah, yeah so and then when it's time to actually flip the tire can't do it he can he doesn't want to even do it so it's i don't know like it's kind of like it's a bit weird. of a strange one it is but like after that then so like lewis jack did so well in it that the points and stuff favored him and kind of it, it it looked really good yeah. for Lewis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and you're kind of happy then as well because of the truck pull went well for him as well. Mm -hmm. And then you went into the dumbbell or the daddy dumbbell as yeah. it's known. A big three and a half inch yeah. big diameter. Like you tried. Oh, the handle is. Oof. The handle is no, huge. Yeah, it's it's massive. Yeah, and we another weird thing they were able just to clean it and keep pressing it. Yeah, which is not you won't see that too often in the competition. Most of the times they tell you to clean and press. Yeah, instead so, of just constantly pressing. So like this one, you can rep it out. I think Paul Smith had the record. So Paul Smith has the record with ten reps. He did very well in this event. Mm -hmm. Like same thing, the whole idea of just keep pressing it from the shoulder, not having to clean it. Yeah, favored some athletes, I suppose. Paul Smith, like had the best technique yeah so there's, there's no point in saying yeah. otherwise he like even jamie reeves was saying that he was the only guy that was kind of dipping before yes. he pressed it yeah and he was like really focusing on doing the technique whereas other lads were kind of Lou jack was just forcing just, just powering it up brute power like, yeah but it worked for him he finished again second in that event and he did really well loads of guys actually failed that dumbbell yeah because just couldn't, couldn't the find balance, the balance the balance yeah. like matt diamond yeah like, just couldn't i don't know I think like, he was given one yeah just uh, just a consolation Killian, he got a couple of reps didn't he yeah sean diver was yeah. the same got a couple of reps yeah look it's probably not what you're expecting they maybe expected a few more reps yeah. from people but i literally think it was the balance at the top was doing a lot of people yeah but it, it was it, i i i love dumbbell events anyway so it, i think it's anything pressing yes I, I <laughs> so after that then we went into the car hold like we were saying earlier so like i think it was sean diver and paul smith were the only guys to break a minute yeah other than that we had stephen jackson actually come out with it, the torn bicep mm -hmm. tried this event which i think is very Insane. good Same. like why <laughs> if you ask me yeah killian groom was after yeah. say overextending his back yeah what did he didn't even attempt it, he no. didn't attempt it. he walked out in fairness mm -hmm. just didn't strap in terry hollands was doing the referee and he i'd say he was probably even surprised because i think killian went down to strap and then he just didn't do yeah, it yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so some of the guys look it was it was unfortunate there was a couple of injuries throughout the day like matt mm -hmm. diamond was the same we had killian and then stephen jackson yeah. so three guys but they're not ma well, well it is if you if you have torn biceps it is kind the, of the torn major. bicep yeah it was major kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's killian not, is hoping yeah he won't be injured for too long because he has an irish show coming up mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks uh like oh, look hopefully they're not serious yeah. no one likes getting injured obviously yeah. so on to the last event then we had the stones like like a lot of shows i suppose whatever you want to call it like stones were all on similar platforms yeah. very same height however the stones got bigger in diameter 160 was the last stone and it was a 22 inch diameter stone if i remember correctly some of the guys like a lot of the guys did very well to finish mm. the five stones there was some didn't like sean diver he got to the third stone yeah. couldn't load the fourth it's, stone it was it's a shame because he was really trying to fight for the third place and i thought he can really like battle out with andrew flynn all he do was be andrew yeah, yeah and it wasn't the case at all so he needs to work on that stuff yeah he even lot. said to himself he's <laughs> yeah. bad at stones but yeah so it's no good to you you don't care maybe push. two stones twice a week <laughs> <to> get better <laughs> at it just uh, an advice <laughs> uh in the end anyway lewis jack did beat paul smith on yeah. the stones however it just wasn't enough yeah. to, to win the competition already he did finish second but i think like everybody i think from like the third event maybe like after the dumbbell everyone's like right paul yeah. smith is gonna win this kind of like and he's deserving winner he's only Louis Jack was able to kind of push him to an extent, you know. But uh, other than that, I think it's a very comfortable win for Paul Smith. Three in a row. Three in a row. Crazy. Yeah. He'll be back for four in a row, I think, next year. Yeah, next year. Yeah. He, I think he's going to holiday after this one. <laughs> uh, he well deserved holiday. All that money. You know, he made, like, a uh, big holiday. Let's go. So, all in all, my opinion of the show, I think it was very good. Like, in a very nice arena. Proper. Yeah. Like, it wasn't too big, wasn't too small. 3000 capacity stadium i think ice hockey stadium yeah oh, everyone in. stayed till the end so it wasn't even too long for the spectators which is nice yeah, like you know? no one left and you could see empty bits in the crowd yeah yeah, like yeah yeah so three hours is just perfect yeah like i have to say it as well like the actual crowd the ultimate strongman crew like they were phenomenal in yeah. between like in between the events like even you hear the crowd cheering on them the on. ball yeah, yeah, yeah when yeah. they're flipping the cars yeah knocking down the stones after events like everything was I, yeah. look I've been to what three Ultimate Strongman shows now, with UK Strongest Men. Mm -hmm. This is by far like it's the smoothest. It's blown it out yeah, of the park. Yeah, yeah. And I have to 
admit like if they're going to do it next year with the live as well yeah i think that's it like it's perfect yeah, yeah. Like always, if you made it far in the video, make sure to press the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Actually, before I finish off, we did meet one subscriber. That oh yeah. Like I look, we uh, probably would like to stop and chat soon, chat for a bit more, I suppose. But Terry Hollands was waiting in the car. Yeah, yeah. We, we had to go get dinner yeah, before the truck pulled. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, but look, look for a picture. It's the first time I was ever asked for a picture. So. Yeah. Oh. Starstruck. <laughs> Starstruck. <laughs> uh, uh, if you are subscribed, make sure to press the bell icon. It'll keep you up to date with everything in Slatter's Brothers, and we'll see you in a future video. See you later, guys.